In today's video, I'm going to show you the 5 best villager trades to get emeralds. These trades get better and better, and in the end, mean you can get infinite emeralds for all your trading needs. To start with in 5th place is the Fletcher. Most people think this is the best trade, and while it's easy to get early game, it's not very efficient. First, you get wood and turn it into sticks to trade to the Fletcher. Instead of doing this, you should do the 4th place trade, the stonemason clay trade. Go to a river and find all the clay in the river. Guys, you're ruining my cinematic shot. Anyway, find all the clay in the river, there's patches everywhere. Then go on with an efficiency shovel and mine it all up really quickly. It's even better if you can manage to find a lush cave, which is full of clay. With this way, you'll be able to fill up your entire inventory full of clay and go back to the villager and trade it all for emeralds. This is much more efficient than using the sticks and emerald trade. In our third place, we have the pumpkin trade. This may seem bad, but if you have an automatic pumpkin farm that generates hundreds of pumpkins easily and a villager who's been zombified to trade one pumpkin for one emerald, you can get heaps of emeralds this way. In second place is the iron ingot trade. There are three different villages that have this trade. The weaponsmith, the armorsmith, as well as the toolsmith. When you have a really good automatic iron farm and have zombified the villagers to trade one iron ingot for one emerald, you can generate so many stacks of emeralds easily. In first place, we have a trade loop. First, from the librarian, you buy glass, and using a crafting table, you make that into glass panes, which you trade to the cartographer. This is an infinite trade, and once you zombify the cartographer, you can get infinite emeralds and infinite XP from this simple step. That's why it's the best villager trade for any survival or hardcore world. Even without zombification, they can still give you XP, so it's still recommended to have this in any setup. In an honorary first mention is the String Duper. A String Duper is a glitch and a duper, so it was not on the list, but it produces infinite string, which you can then trade to the fisherman, who can give you infinite emeralds in return. This is actually the fastest way of getting emeralds, but is a dupe, so it is not on the list. Please subscribe guys, it means the world to me and it's completely free. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, have a great day and now you know how to get infinite emeralds.